Have you ever wondered how some streamers are able to take their chat interactions to the next level? Well, it's all bots. The good kind. If you ever interacted with a Twitch chat, there's a very high chance that some bot looked at your message. This includes well-known moderation bots like Nightbot, Moobot, Stream Elements, and so on. Most streamers use at least one. But moderation is boring, and it's already been solved. Building a custom bot can open up a ton of possibilities. This is how Twitch Plays X game works. A bot will read the chat messages and press the keyboard keys it sees in chat. Other examples include Queen, who uses channel point redemptions to trigger OBS scenes or other interactive media during his stream. And streamers like DogDog, who create whole mini-games and challenges that involve the chatters in real time. You can even take it to a whole nother level and have your bot become the streamer, like Neurosama. A full-blown AI streamer that can read chat, answer messages, interact with other streamers, and even play video games from time to time. So, where do we start? First thing, we need to set up our development environment. I'm going to use Node.js, TypeScript, and Notepad to write the script. Just kidding, I'm going to use VS Code. Oh yeah, to follow along, you should be familiar with JavaScript at least, and the basics of programming. Anyway, after we have our environment set up, we need to test it. Perfect. What do we do next? What are our requirements? We need to at least be able to read the chat messages. We also need to be able to read the stream events, such as new subscribers, followers, and so on. And lastly, we need to be able to issue chat commands. Twitch offers two ways to achieve this. One is their IRC server, a text-based chat system that was invented when the dinosaurs were still alive. The second one is their official API, a modern approach to interact with services across the web. We will look at both solutions and try to figure out the pros and cons. Now, we could write everything from scratch, but it would be tedious, and we would also be reinventing the wheel, most likely. Instead of actually writing the code we need in 30 minutes, we are gonna scour the web for 2 hours and use someone else's work instead. Two hours later. From a deep dive, it looks like most people use TMI just to read the chat, so we are gonna set that up and see how it goes. The example seems pretty straightforward. Just pass it a list of channels to join and we can read the chat messages. Well, that's it. See you next week. Okay, but for real. What if we want to say something back? Let's see. Client that say. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, we need a way to authenticate ourselves. To authenticate a bot, we can use our own account or we can create a Twitch developer account. An app, and I'm falling asleep already. Let's instead use someone else's work again. Remember, great artist steals, and you can call me Picasso in this bitch. Head over to twitchtokengenerator.com, which is basically an already set up developer app, made specifically for this purpose. Set the scopes, which are the list of things our bot will be able to do, and click generate. Link your Twitch account, and we have our credentials. Great! Don't share these with anyone. Now, instead of hardcoding this in our bot, we will use environment variables, which are basically system or global variables. We can use the .env library to load our variables from an end file, or we could set them up in your operating system and achieve the same thing. I'm going with the former for now. Save our tokens and we are good to go. Now, let's authenticate ourselves. Username is the Twitch username you linked earlier, and the password is the access token we were given. Everything should work now. Let's test it. Oh, it's working! Great! Now we can spy on everybody. Let's test a random stream now. Oh shit, it's actually working! So we are one for three as far as requirements go. How do we send commands now? Let's say someone was not in chat and we wanted to time them out. Usually it's slash timeout something something. Oops, it didn't work. Okay, wait, hold on. Two hours later. So, looks like you can send commands using RC. We can only read the chat and events like subs, followers, bands, and so on. Well, if that's the only thing you are interested in doing, you are good to go. Let's see the pros and cons of TMIJS and IRC. Pros. It's super easy to use. And it's perfect for reading chat. Cons. You can only read the chat and can send commands. That's super 3 though, so it's not bad at all. You can cover most of the chat interactions with this. 
you'd be able to do Twitch plays on Neuroclone and Channel Point Redemptions. Only thing is, you wouldn't be able to ban people from the bot or time them out dog dog style. Let me know in the comments below what ideas you got in mind so far with the TMI implementation. Now, let's see how we can improve Pawn using the API. With this, we could handroll a bunch of HTTP calls and do the things we want, or we can use a library. So we are going to do that instead. Only thing is, we need to find one that we can use. Two hours later. Turns out googling around for this is not very useful, as there's no good library in sight. I had to talk with a Twitch dev ambassador to find anything useful. And there's one library that can do everything we want. Well, it's actually a bunch of libraries under the same name that you can glue together. And the name is Twerple. I swear, one of these days I'm gonna have a stroke reading these library names. Reading the documentation? Yeah, I know, I know. We can use different libraries for what we need to do. So, to read the chat, we are gonna need to authenticate ourselves using the previously made access token. Once that's done, we can pass our auth provider to the modules we wanna use. In this case, the chat, so we can spy on everybody. Using the chat, we can also read some of the events, but not all of them. There's a list showing you what can be done for each individual module on their website. We are now back to the point where we were earlier with TMIJS and IRC. We have achieved feature parity. Anything else from this point on is an improvement. To get all the events happening in our stream, like subs, gifts, bans, raids, and so on, we are gonna have to use the event sub module. Same thing as before, pass in the auth and start listening to events. And the new, most important feature, one that we couldn't add before, is the ability to ban people, or rather, execute whatever we feel like. Using the API module, we have direct control over the entire stream, as if we were doing it through the website. We can even change the title and category of the stream. Our bot now passes all the requirements, 3 for 3, with a lot of flexibility. Oh yeah, they also give you a pre-made bot that you can extend with whatever functionality you want. So I guess we could have used that and be done in 2 minutes. But the real treasure is the bugs we make along the way. So this is it. That's how you make a Twitch bot, that can cook, clean, fuck your wife, all at the same time. At this point, your creativity is the only limiting factor. You could do any type of interactions with the chat. You could VIP the 1000 member in chat, or you could make it a 1% chance of getting banned for a day every time you type, just so you can keep the chatters on their toes and make them feel the thrill of chatting. Let me know down below what's your favorite features that you have seen in one of these bots, or what new ideas you got. For everything else, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And let me know what else would you like to see me build. I will probably connect this bot to OBS at some point for scene changing. I was also thinking about adding some AI capabilities like sentiment analysis and banning rude chatters and so on. And until next time, you know I gotcha.